In this short tutorial, we will discuss the introduction to differential diagnosis by location. Neuroradiology is very much like real estate, and the three most important rules for both real estate and neuroradiology are location, location, and location. In this axial T2 weighted MR scan, there is an obvious abnormality that can be seen on the left side of the image which is the patient's right side. This mass lesion is also associated with some underlying thickening of the skull or hyperostosis. We can see that this lesion is extra axial. It is pushing the brain out of the way and pushing the brain away from the inner table of the skull. After we give contrast material, we can see on this T1 weighted MR image that the lesion is enhancing and there is also enhancement of the dura underneath the hemispheric shaped lesion. So we have a classic extraaxial mass lesion. Extraaxial lesions are located outside of the brain but still within the nervous system. They are lesions that are external to the peel surface. Directly under the pia is the gray matter and we can recognize that the gray matter is being displaced and pushed away from the inner table of the skull. This creates the slight enlargement of the subarachnoid space that we can see on either side of the mass as indicated by the stars on this image. When we have an extraaxial mass lesion, our differential diagnosis is different when compared to a lesion that is inside the substance of the brain. An intraaxial mass lesion may be located in the gray matter or the white matter and in the cerebral hemispheres, the brainstem, or in the cerebellum. One classic intraaxial mass lesion is the so-called butterfly lesion, which involves the large commissural white matter tract that connects the two cerebral hemispheres together, the corpus callosum. A lesion in the corpus callosum has a very limited differential diagnosis. One possibility would be primary central nervous system lymphoma, as is seen here in this patient on the axial T1 weighted image post gadolinium. Intraaxial lesions may also be nodular lesions just below the cortex, which is typical for hematogenous metastatic disease. And patients with hematogenous dissemination may have multiple lesions that are in a similar subcortical location just below the gray matter. A third location for intracranial lesions is within the cerebral ventricles. There are two lateral ventricles, a third and a fourth ventricle. Most commonly, intraventricular masses are seen within the lateral ventricle and the most common location for a lateral ventricular mass is in the region called the atrium or trigone and these lesions are typically related to the choroid plexus which is in this location. This is a patient that has an intraventricular meningioma. We can see how the lesion is located in the trigone of the patient's left lateral ventricle on the right side of the image.